So there are a lot of questions that people ask me about catfish farming. Among some of them are, is there a profitable venture? Is this the right time for me to get into catfish farming? Looking at the inflation among other factors in the country. This particular episode has been designed for you so that if you really want to do catfish farming in the year 2023, you would have the details as to how to go about it before the start of the year. I would entreat you to watch the video throughout because we are going to provide you with a lot of good information in relation to what's happening currently in the catfish farming industry. A lot of us know that this country and the world at large is facing a lot of economic challenges. As a result of this inflation, inputs for fish feed manufacturing has become a challenge. Aside all of these things, the question people ask themselves is, is there a market for my farm produce? In today's episode, we are going to discuss 1,000 catfish farm setup and the expected profits when you are done with your production process in the next six months. So first of all, before you can start your fish farm, you would need to locate a very good site. The site you are looking at is a site that is accessible. You can easily take feed in there and out. A site that is flood proof, a site that has good security among other factors. You also like to check your water source to make sure that there is enough water for your production processes. You also, also want to ask yourself, with my fish farm, what kind of setup will be suitable for the kind of location I am trying to select? So let's say that you have chosen all of these things, you've done that research, and now you've said that, okay, I want to start with my catfish farm business. For new farmers, I always entreat you guys to start with tarpaulin ponds. Tarpaulin ponds because they are the easiest ones to set up, they are the easiest ones to handle, and even if there's a problem, if you face any challenges, the risk factor is low as compared to the other mediums as well. So for the purpose of this calculation, we are going to use a tarpaulin pond. This tarpaulin pond comes in different sizes, but then you are looking at maybe 18 by 10 by 4 feet, or you are looking at 15 by 15 feet by 4 feet. Now, if you are looking at this tarpaulin, you, normally you are looking for a tarpaulin material which is HDPE, that is high density polyethylene material. These tarpaulins are tarpaulins that are proven to last longer, and so you wouldn't worry about someone going to use anything to prick them or anything whatsoever, unless there is an intentional activity going on in there. These tarpaulins cost 4,200 Ghana cities currently. That is the tarpaulin together with the metal works and the structure. The next thing you would like to look out for will be your plumbing. Now, with Latman Farms, we have professional plumbers that deal with our tarpaulins. Reason being is, we do not want you to prick the tarpaulin wrongly and then we'll have a lot of challenges in there. So most of the time, we set up our tarpaulins for people and then we have a plumber who goes there, he lays the piping for, for the inlet and then also the piping for the outlet and then sets up the tarpaulin and everything nicely. Put in water and make sure that it is okay, there's no leaks before he leaves the place. Now for the plumbing works, normally it depends on the distance, the nearness to the water source and then the nearness to the drainage source as well. Most of the time we are looking at a figure of about 800 Ghana cities for the plumbing works for your pond. So now we know that we have our pond and then we, we have done the plumbing works for it. The next thing we like to focus on is the finger lens because you are going to wear these finger lens for the next six months. For the finger lens, a piece is sold at two Ghana cities. And so if you are using thousand of them, you are looking at 2000 Ghana cities. For some farms, I tell them to probably buy about um, 1,100 or 1,200 so that by the time you end your production period, you would have roughly slightly above the thousand you are working with. The next thing that you like to look out for is feed. There are very good feeds in Ghana and there are also other good feed in other parts of the world that people bring into the country. Most of these feed come in 15 kg or 20 kg depending on the brand you are buying from. When it comes to feed, we are looking at what we call feed conversion ratio. 
With feed conversion ratio, you are asking yourself, what amount of feed would give me the expected weight? And so in optimum ponds, where you have good water quality parameters, and then also there is enough knowledge about how to handle the fish, then you are looking at the FCR of one kg of feed is to one kg of fish weight. So depending on the kind of feed you are buying, you would know how to calculate the number of bags. And so for 1,000 pieces of fish, you are expecting that you'll be able to get 1,000 kg of feed. And so if the feed is a 20 kg bag, then you need 50 bags of that feed. And then if the feed is a 15 kg bag, then you need about 67 bags of that feed during your entire production process. Now, there are different sizes and different prices of the feed, but then for the purpose of this training and this calculations, we are going to maintain 280 Ghana cities per bag. So when you multiply the 50 bags by 280, you get 14,280. But if you happen to be using the 15 kg feed, then the current price I know of is 217 Ghana cities. And so when you multiply 217 Ghana cities by 67, then you will be having 14,539 Ghana cities for feed. Now, there are a lot of farmers that are using borehole, some are using pipe bond, some are using rainwater, among other mediums as well. If you are using water from Ghana water, as far as I know, Ghana water charges five cities 60 pesos per every thousand liters of water. And so when you do your calculations, normally, let's say in your pond, you need a maximum of about 8,000 liters of water. And so if you need 8,000 liters of water, then what you will do is you multiply eight by five cities, 60 pesos, and that will give you 44.8 Ghana cities. That is how much you incur per every water change. And so let's just say that you change water every three days. That means you are going to change water 60 times during your production processes. And so at the end of the day, you would multiply 44.8 Ghana cities by 60 times, and that will give you the total figure you would incur for water. We are looking at a figure of about 2,688 Ghana cities. The next thing you like to look out for will be your cost of transportation. In this transportation, it entails whatever cost you are going to incur when you purchase your fingerlings and transport them to your site or to your farm, and then whatever amount of money you would also incur for transporting anything to and fro from your site. Ideally, we are looking at a figure about 500 Ghana cities because depending on how close you purchase your fingerlings, your cost of transportation would be low. So you are looking at a total of 23,744 Ghana cities. This includes your setup and any other thing that you would need for the entire production process. So you would ask yourself, if I invest all of this money into this business, how much money am I going to make at the end of the day? We are working with something we call mortality ratio. That is to say that out of your thousand fish that you stock, how many of them should you lose after the six months period? So the quick tip I gave you in the beginning was, if you need thousand fish, you could stock about 1,200, so that by the time your production will be due for harvest, you would have probably close to that particular figure. And so based on that, we are just going to take out just 10% of the thousand off, and that is going to give us 900 pieces of fish. These 900 pieces of fish, we are expecting them to be at least a kg. Now, the price for fresh catfish currently in Ghana, as I know, is 30 Ghana cities for fresh fish. So if the fish is just harvested and is sold fresh, it is sold at 30 Ghana cities. So for 900 pieces of fish, you multiply it by the 30 Ghana cities, and then you would have 27,000 Ghana cities as your total revenue. 
Then for you to be able to find your profit, you subtract 23,744 from 27,000 Ghana cities. You are going to have 3,256 as your profit. Mind you, this includes other things that uh, you have in terms of the tarpaulin and the other things as well. And then, if you choose to smoke the fish, you are looking at 900 pieces times 35 Ghana cities. And at the end of the day, you are expecting 31,500 Ghana cities. But for you to know your profit, you'd have to subtract 23,744 from 31,000. 500 and that's going to give you 7,556. This is for your first cycle of your production. So if you want to do the other calculations for your second cycle of production, then what you would have to do is that you subtract the cost of uh, setup and then you only maintain your operational expenses. That would be your fingerlings, your feed, your water, and then also the cost of transportation as well. Another thing you can do is you can also calculate about 15% inflation on the materials and the pricing that we have given you so that at least there wouldn't be too much of a difference between your budget and then the price in the market. And so based on these details, it becomes easier for you to know exactly how much you should be looking at if you want to start the farming in the year 2023. Now, 2023, as I have said on countless episodes, is that there are a lot of opportunities. There are a lot of things that you could do to benefit in this particular industry. There are a lot of innovations that we are bringing. And so we recirculate the water at different points in time so that you could save on your water expenses. And there are people who have sunk boreholes that is going to help them to be able to save on their cost. Also, as a business, we have other ideas that we are bringing, innovative activities, which is also going to cut down on our cost of production, especially the feed. Because if you look at your, the calculations that we've done, the price you are going to incur for feed is very high. And so when you use this particular method that we are going to bring up in the next year, you are going to be able to save a lot on your production processes. The only thing you want to do in 2023 is that you take advantage of this valuable information and then as well reach out to us in Latman Farms because we are industry players. We spend a lot of time in different, different farms, talk to a lot of people in the industry and we are finding different, different ways to be able to do things and do them well. And so if at any point in time you want to set up, 2023 is a year for you and us. And so just reach out to us and we will come and find ways and means to assist you. As we have said, we are also launching different things that is going to help us to come to your farm and help you to maintain the activities that will help you to be able to save on cost. There are also different, different things that we have in place to help you to maximize your inputs in your farms and then also on in, in, with respect to your revenue. And so thank you so much for watching this particular episode. If you have any questions, there will be a number in the description section below. Just reach out to us and we'll give you all the details. We'll see you in your farm some other time. Bye.